post break with yours truly. I'm the one and only. I go by the name of Mr. Telefero. Please make sure you're following your boy on the gram. At it's Mr. Telefero. We had a great day yesterday. Over 100 people follow me on Instagram, and I don't take that type of love and support for granted. Let's keep that energy up. The goal is 10,000 followers as soon as possible. So, Joe Button of the JBP was live on his Instagram account last night and it got spooky in the wee hours of the night by the way salute to the jbp i saw in the last episode that you guys said y'all gonna call it quits being responsible with your platform calling it quits for a few weeks because of the coronavirus as they do shoot out of the new york new jersey area so no joe Blaine podcast for all the fans out there for the foreseeable future hopefully you guys are able to return soon enough everybody out there in that new york area stay safe everybody stay safe damn it so when the Joe Budden podcast does return, they're likely going to have a very special guest on it as Joe had a very special guest join him on his Instagram live as he's trying to keep the content going despite the JBP down for business for a few weeks. He got a visit from a very, very, very famous friend. Can I call him a friend? They've had their differences in the past. Joe dissed Drake like 85 times in one week. Drake had to pump pump it up line to Joe. Anywho, I think they're buddies now. Drizzy Drake joined Joe Budden on his IG Live. Not only did we get an update on music, but we got an update on an interview between the two. Check it out. Because I, I can't. Because you had the embassy? Nah, I just like I know where this is gonna go. It's gonna go left. No, it's not. Yo, why do you think that about me, man? We can have a we can have like a smooth talk. You do it with Tory Lanez and all your other fucking buddies. <laughs> it's gonna be bad for the brand right now. Oh. <laughs> but all but all the other OVO dudes kick it with me. I know everybody fucks with you. You're the only one that like avoids me for some strange reason. Never avoid you. I just don't see you. We're never in the same place. Cause I'm too broke. I, I didn't want to say. You invited Elliot and B Dot over there to the embassy. They got they got to see the, the Tussie Slide exclusive. They got to hear Tupac in your bathroom, nigga. Can I have another drink, please? Look at this. You got a bartender there. <laughs> Holy shit. Can I have a beverage? I'm parched. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, go back to your live, man. I'm, I'm going to talk. We, I, we have an interview to do for like when the when the album's ready. I'm not on do this right now. Either. You've been saying that for a year, and then now I have a whole leaked album with like 30 Drake joints. That's not that's that's old shit. That's not the new shit. Don't worry. All right, fine. Enjoy yourself over there. We'll I'm gonna be in, I'm gonna be in your comments though. Don't worry. Yo, but can let me ask you, why are you trolling me this way? Honestly, like. You don't think it's hurtful to me? <laughs> Why? What do you mean? I'm, I'm always, I'm, all, it's, it's, it's with an encouraging undertone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm hanging up, nigga. Bye. <laughs> yeah, just being a guy who's in the music news space, consuming content the way I do, being a big fan of pretty much all of Drake interviews except the one that he did with Zane Lowe, and obviously being a fan of Joe Bud and his platforms that he's got going right now. I'm super excited for this one. I'm guessing it's going to happen on the podcast. I probably would actually like Joe to do a pull-up with this one. And I'm not the biggest fan of the pull-up series. But in this situation, I think I'd rather Joe Budden do a pull-up episode with Drake. I ain't really feeling it. Maul and Rory just kind of dick riding Drake for two and a half hours. That seems kind of rap radar-ish. So I think I'd rather Joe go one-on-one -on -one with Drake. I think he could get more out of Drake in a one-on-one -on -one type of setting. But obviously, hearing that Drake has plans on giving Joe Budden an interview whenever he does drop his album, that's great to hear as a fan of this 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 genre we call hip hop. Now, when we're gonna get the interview, who knows? Because when who when is Drake gonna drop music? Right? I know Drake was dropping an album this year. He said it, and usually when he says he's gonna drop, he delivers. But I mean, with this coronavirus, I'm sure plans have changed even for the biggest rapper, if not the biggest artist in the world, Drake. I mean, who knows? I mean, this coronavirus thing, if it extends to July, August, then you gotta you gotta really, if you're Drake, you gotta really have a real conversation like, yo, maybe should I wait the next year? Because if Drake's gonna drop an album, a tour is coming with it. And who knows, even if we're able to get back to work in the next few weeks, maybe in the next couple months, who knows when people will feel comfortable going to arenas of 20,000 people that Drake will be able to sell out who knows when people are going to feel comfortable doing that type of thing again. So 
I don't know when we're getting that Drake album. And I guess whenever we do get it, we're going to likely get Drake on the Joe Budden platform of some sort. So I'm looking forward to that. Now, before we get off Drake and Joe Budden on IG Live, as Drake left the live, it looks like a lot of people were happy to see Drizzy Drake's face, including one very famous adult film star. Fellas, fellas, fellas. As a matter of fact, my lady should know this one as well. You've watched the video to see can you squirt like her because you can't. Fellas, a legend entered Joe Budden's IG Live. Jada Fires. We all didn't. We all done got busy to Jada Fires a time or two in our lifetime. Salute to all my LimeWire, FrostWire, BearShare kings out there. Uh, Jada Fires is a porn star legend, and it looks like the, the porn star legend has a crush on the music legend Drake as Jada Fires got word of Drake being in the IG Live, and she started flirting back and forth with Drizzy Drake. You know how slick that nigga from the 60s. He started shooting a couple shots at her back. And uh, Drake said something along the lines of Jada and Cherokee definitely still in my top searches on the thickest Apple laptop I have in my storage. Uh, he went on to say, Jada fires. I used to get crazy off you. Uh, I'm with you, Drake. Me too, bro. And, and then it led to Jada fires actually hopping on the IG Live, shooting her shot at Drizzy Drake. Check it out. We connect. Drake is trying to roast the shit out of me. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Jada, so Somebody you have not that I've been trying to get forever. <laughs> oh, you've been. Oh, you serious? So you've been really trying to bag what? Drake? Are you kidding me? Yes. It's you hard get a... to get Drake. No, nah, I know that. You can get a couple coins out there, nigga. I don't want no coins. <laughs> No, what you want? I don't want no coins, honey. Let me tell you. <laughs> what? Mm -mm. I don't want the coins. Well, what you want, Jada? You don't. don't. Why you want people in my... Oh, my God, Because it's my chat, God damn it. We're talking here. What, what, is, it? what is it? What is it that... No? It's a secret. All right, man. I'm hanging up. You creeping me out, man. What? Because, <laughs> fam, you, you got your tongue out your mouth and, hey. as you're talking about a man, and it just looks like. Okay, you know I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, just, sorry. I'm uncomfortable. I'm not I'm not comfortable like this. What's up? Okay, what's up? I'm Nothing. Sorry. I just, I'm sorry. I just wanted to check on you and make sure you were doing all right in a quarantine. I am. You know, I'm over here. I'm coronavirus free. I'm coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait so you coronavirus free that mean you can fly to toronto right now yeah what's up come on come on drake come on full come name. on boo boo no come drake on, boo -boo. Full, full name and birthday full <laughs> come on your 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 full name and your dob oh my god it's it's easy I'm okay, too. Jada. Uh, listen, I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Why are you leaving me now, Joe? Because. Why are you leaving me now? Because I just wanted to make sure that you were safe and doing well and doing good. That's all. That's all. I didn't, I didn't want any trouble. Uh, when, are the, when, when are you? Uh, uh, I can't ask you when you're traveling because you don't know. Oh, because you know the Yeah, call me crazy. Call Drake crazy. But I don't believe he was that interested after Jada Fire shot her shot at Drake, the boy from the six responded in a very weird comment. He said, Jada, you look like you still in G unit. And I mean that in the best way possible. Nigga, there's no best way to say that. Nigga, that's a diss. That is telling her no. And I, I salute my kings out there that tell these women no from time to time. Women always think men gotta be thirsty for them. Well, this is a woman clearly being thirsty for a guy, and she got dissed. And Drake tried to, and I guess in his way, tell let her down the nicest way possible. But that shit sounded mean as hell. Like, just say, bitch, I don't want you. Bitch, you got too many bodies. I think you got HIV. You definitely, bare minimum, got herp. Like, just say that. Don't tell her, Jada, you still look like you in G-Unit. What, what, she look like 50 Cent? 
Like, yo, what the hell? You, she look like Tony Ayo? What the hell? What kind of shit is that, Drizzy? That, that is a different type of coming right there. But nevertheless, I think that's Drake saying, um, you cool, respect to you, I'd rather whack off to you than whack off with you. Uh, yeah, this is a weird ending to this video. Probably one of my best videos I've done in quite some time, though. I thank you guys so much for the time, love, and support. Anyway, the, the main details of this is we're getting a Drake Joe Budden interview at some point, and uh, Jada Fires is definitely interested in Drizzy Drake. I think Drake would rather watch her on Pornhub and XNXX. Uh, thank you guys so much for the time, love, support. Make sure you're following me, not on those platforms, because I ain't, I ain't rocking over there yet. Uh, I'm not there yet. My girl ain't going for that shit. But I am on Instagram, at is Mr. Teleferro. Follow me over there for more exclusive content. Not porn exclusive, but still exclusive. So follow me on Instagram, as Mr. Teleferro. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids that tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV.